All right, what is up? Here we go with part 15 of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, and let's go for it. All right, so the last one, we uh, got this guy Skip the pleasantries. that was partying down in here while the world is seemingly ending. But uh, let's check our journal, see what we have to do. We have uh, some, we have an errand we can do. Restoring a broken gold buckle. Um, storyteller is ready to revive the ancient artifact. To do this, he will need five vials of magic essence. Um, I mean, we should have a lot of that, right? Where would that be? I'm sure we have some of that. Somewhere. Ingredients. Oh, elemental essence. So that's different. Magic essence. Okay, so maybe we don't have that. Alright, well, let's check for something else on the journal. Uh, more than nothing. Visit the Nameless Ruins. This is what we were looking for last time, but we couldn't find it. Let's check this one out. Visit the abandoned Houndheart's camp. Ellen and his friends rushed from their camp to aid the neighbors during the demon attack. When the city is no longer in danger, there will be time to visit the camp. The ring must be there. When the city is there will be time. So I'm guessing, uh... Hmm. It said when there's time, so that means maybe not right now. Uh, the dragon's fate. Find something else that belonged to Terendlev. Okay, let's, uh... I guess just continue on with some of this. <clears throat> the Burning City. Find a secret entrance to the Grey Garrison. Uh, I guess. Let's try that. So, where's the exit? Let's pull up the map. Oh, hold on. There is a lot of loot in here. Oh, we already checked all these bodies last game. That's right. Okay. A success worthy of praise. Leave. All right, um never been here. We don't have anything marked for there though. The Grey Garrison. Let's check this hanged cultist first. Uh, except... Alright, Grey Garrison. Retaking the Grey Garrison is very... Seek Erebeth in the Defender's Heart to discuss all the necessary preparations. Okay. Let's go to Defender's Heart. Travel. Oh, uh, let's evade. I mean, we're fucking right here. Yes. Alright, let's go and side. Let's talk to Erebeth. Erebeth, however you pronounce it. Where you at? Well, you are. Over here. Um. I thank you for saving the esteemed citizens of Canabras, even though not all of them deserve to be saved. May Iomide forgive my words. Uh, I don't really mean that, of course. I just never fail to be astounded by the way that good people seem to perish, while the not-so-good prove to be incredibly amazingly enduring. Even so, the Count did offer me his aid. He can't be all that bad. Yes, that's not like him at all. Joining the Crusades is a tradition among Mendevian nobles, but Darren Arande was never too keen on fighting demons. The Count has a certain reputation in Mendev. He's not a pleasant individual by any means, but he's not known for any particular uh, villainy either. <coughs> villainy. Um, the Count enjoys a life of leisure surrounded by a gaggle of sycophants who are always eager to badmouth the queen at his command. He likes settling scores too. 
There was a hero of the First Crusades, Sir Lant, a kind of honest man. After the end of his glorious career as a soldier, he became a wise mentor to the younger generation. He ran afoul of the Count somehow, perhaps by lecturing him about the idle lifestyle and lack of purpose. When Sir Lant died, the Count managed to buy a portion of his estate and ordered the knight's helmet to be reforced into a chamber pot. <coughs> And of course, he didn't keep his little joke private. The queen was particularly affronted by it, because Sir Lant used to be her most loyal comrade in arms. I was there receiving an assignment from her majesty, and witnessed the exact moment she found out about the helmet's fate. It's a small thing, but I could see the queen's anguish at the travesty that had been made of her friend's legacy. That's what our Count is like as a person, and as for his talent for survival, do you know the story of Heaven's Edge? He was the only member of his family to escape with his life when the demons unleashed a magical plague at the Arande estate. Um, could you tell me more about the events at Heaven's Edge? I don't know all the details that happened a while ago, back when I was a mercenary and had nothing to do with Canabras. I only know that there was a grand feast in honor of Darren's birthday, and all his relatives were invited along with a few other distinguished guests. Everyone died from a mysterious deed someone had unleashed on the estate, including the servants, the guards, and a number of clerics and paladins, but the young count survived. Because of his healing ability, I suppose. Darren does possess an unusually brilliant talent, even if the application of his skills leaves much to be desired. Um, why is he trying to provoke the queen? <laughs> Who knows, it could be some family matter, the Count is her majesty's cousin twice removed or something like that, but I think he simply enjoys infuriating people, crusaders and Iomidae's servants especially. Thank you for telling me all this. My pleasure. I'm sorry you had to endure my grumbling. Watching these things happen in my city has put me in a foul mood. Dope. Um. I found Jana Aldori, like you asked? Yes, thank you. It's good to have her back. We need every fighter we can get. Uh, I suppose it's asking too much to want fighters that are sober as well. Um. These award stones, what, uh, what are they? They are our greatest treasure, the shield given to us by Amade herself and placed in Canabras and other uh, Mendevian cities and fortresses by her herald. The chain of award stones forms a protective barrier that stops the ex uh, expansion of the world wound and keeps the demons from moving beyond its borders. I shudder to, th <clears throat> I shudder to think what will happen if that barrier falls. Um, allow me to ask a few personal questions. <clears throat> Please, but I must warn you, there are some things I don't have, uh, the right to discuss. Um, where are you from? I was born in Canabras. I grew up on a farm just outside it, but my way back home lay at the end of a long and winding road. It took me years of traveling through foreign lands before I came to where I've always belonged. Uh, how did you become a paladin? Um, I don't much like to remember it, believe it or not. The story of how I became a paladin also the st is also the story of how I failed to become a knight. <coughs> My parents were crusaders. May their souls stand together in Iomedes' celestial army. When I was born, they retired from the war and started preparing me to continue their legacy. But my father was an orc. You'd be pressed to find a calmer, wiser, and more... Pi pious servant of the goddess than he but still all his life he was uh, dogged by sideways looks and whispers when I grew older it was time for me to serve I decided anywhere but Canabras that was where my father had served loyally <coughs> and his only reward had been injustice besides the witch hunters led by the honorable prelate Herlin stalked the city stalked the city with a heavy hand. 
Who knows what they'd have done to a strange girl with green skin. Instead, I went to... You can laugh if you want. But I was young and foolish. I chose last wall of all places. You can imagine how well I was accepted in a country that's been battling the orcs of Belkzin since its foundation. There were many there like me, but we were all treated as second-class citizens. To the locals, my green skin was worse than leper scabs. Even my brothers in faith kept their distance. I took my vows, and the goddess granted me the powers of a paladin. But even then, not a single order would accept me into their ranks. I spent another six months knocking on doors before I realized the simple truth. I serve Iomade, not these people. I don't have to prostrate myself before them so I left as a paladin but not a knight okay things are bound to be tough for you too most common folk fear death and hate the undead even more than they do orcs I'm sure you're no stranger to sideways looks and whispers behind your back um how did you come to join a knightly order I left last wall and went traveling. The goddess guided me and my path led me to where atrocities were happening. I often fought in exchange for gold, but never for unworthy aims, of course. I wandered the river kingdoms for a few years, killing monsters and tracking down criminals. Sometimes I thought I was just wasting time, that my true place was in Canabrus, but I pushed those thoughts away. I didn't even want to think about going back, but in the end, divine providence had brought me to my senses it happened in timon timon i was tracking a gang of bandits which my employer suspected was a cover uh, for rasmir and spies i managed to find their lair but inside i found something far more dangerous than spies an unholy temple of the zan kuthan when I broke in there, the cultists were about to sacrifice someone. The person who was destined to become my wife, Anevia. But that's another story. I, after I cut down the cultists, I examined their papers and couldn't believe my eyes. A network of evil cults had spread through all of Aviston, including Mendev. Worse, the documents clearly showed that their allies, the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth, had infested my native Canabrus and were even among the ranks of the paladins. After that, delaying my homecoming would be tantamount to dis desertion. Luckily, I was no longer alone. Anivia was, an e was eager to destroy the cultists as I was. Anivia and I hurried to Canabrus. We couldn't trust anyone. The papers indicated that the cultists had inf infiltrated everything. Luckily, I had some experience in investigation, and my beloved, she knew her way around working locks, telling people, and trading information with the city's bottom feeders. Soon, we defeated, alas, not the whole Hydra, but a few of its heads. Do you know who turned out to be the leader of the cultists? The commander of the Eagle Watch. Can you imagine? While Prelate Herlin was chasing witches through the city, the enemy had infiltrated the very order responsible for internal security. The scandal reached the ears of the Queen. At first, she planned to disband the order to disgrace, but then, but then she offered its command to me and put its salvation in my hands. Of course, there was one small catch. I wasn't a knight, but I was made a com but I was made commander just the same. Skipping the usual progression through the ranks. Um. Or religion. I can't imagine the followers of Zan Kuthan in alliance with demon worshippers. Shouldn't they hate each other? <clears throat> they should, but Baphomet's minions are masters of deception. They manipulate Zan Kuthan's butchers as eagerly as Iomide's knights. The cultists from that unholy temple didn't know the true face of their associates in Canabrus. We ourselves learned the truth much later after getting to the bottom of their nest. Um, how did the people of Canabrus feel about your background? 
They tolerated it surprisingly well. I shouldn't have been so wary. Crusaders don't tend to be prejudiced as a rule. After all, heroes from all over the world, even from other continents, come come here to fight the demons. Apparently the people were only suspicious of full-blooded orcs. There were already many like me here, and we don't have any problems. Though the locals do have their superstitions. Mendev is as merciless as Last Wall. They just have a different set of victims. I kept seeing those same sideways looks and scowls, hearing the familiar whispers, but where once they used to whisper behind my back and point at me, now they whisper in my ear and point at someone else. It's so strange to be on the other side of humiliation, to wipe the spit from your face and suddenly be invited to change position and spit at someone else. You must have figured out by now that I'm talking about tieflings. It's true there are many of them among the cultists and few among our crusaders. And our fighters do all they can to drive away those who would be our allies. People shun them, call them Irilu Spawn or worse, as if they chose to be born like that. I believe it's quite a feat to rise against the call of one's blood and join the force, forces of good. Still, most only see them as the enemy. I once saw a knight bleeding to death because he wouldn't let a tiefling priest touch his wound. Alas, I haven't been able to change this in all my time in Canabras. <coughs> Tell me more about Anivia. We met in Timon as I was wandering aimlessly from one ordeal to another. We returned to Canabras together to expose the Templars of the Ivory the Labyrinth. The day the queen knighted me as the second half... The day the queen knighted me was the second happiest day of my life. The first was the day of our wedding. But Anivia isn't just my beloved. She's my staunchest ally. We share every victory and defeat. The best of me is alive thanks to her. Thank you for saving her back then. Thank you for saving her back then. The day Knabris fell... Before her return, the only thing giving me the strength to protect the defender's heart was the hope that I'd see her again. We are, we are in your debt. Uh, thank you for your answers. Um, tell me about the Eagle Watch. <clears throat> it was a small order created to fight not only demons but also the enemies within, to maintain the purity of the Paladin ranks, prevent heresy, and identify spies. And it failed miserably at and it failed miserably at that. The Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth infiltrated it and formed their nest within its ranks. After the Queen entrusted me with leading the order, Anevia and I practically built it from scratch. We got rid of dead weight, people who weren't committed. We organized the ways to transmit messages and orders safely. We introduced reliable ciphers. We found tactic allies around the city, from crusader orders to the street beggars. This was my personal crusade to purge the city to purge the city of the Templars who had infested it. And I thought I was winning. I could feel it. We were so close to driving the cultists out of Canabras, but it's hard to admit, but those successes didn't count for much once the demons entered the city. On the contrary, if it wasn't for you, there wouldn't be a headquarters at the Defender's Heart. The cultists would have served up the city on a platter to the demons. Yes, that's true. It's a good thing we achieved something. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's it. Go, may I Amade keep you safe. So I guess we can't do the thing I was coming here to see, which was... It said to talk to uh, her for the Grey Garrison thing. So, I guess we need to do some other stuff. Gather allies for the attack on the Grey Garrison. Um, Prolate Herland soldiers have joined the Crusaders. Join, have joined the Crusaders. Uh, should we find him? Is he here? Relate Herlin. I 
I don't see him. Pink eye. Looking for Herlin. Yeah, I don't see him. Okay. Let's check the uh, cold waters. Wait for the liberation of Canabrus. Uh, find Aranka, the Desnan singer. Um, the beautiful bard Aranka has found refuge somewhere in the city among friends or devotees. She is unlikely to give herself away, but she can be found by looking out for signs of a highly talented singer and musician. Musician. Okay. Hmm. Ellen and his friends rushed from their camp to aid neighbors during the demon attack. When the city is no longer in danger, there will be time to visit the camp. Visit the Nameless Ruin. Yeah. We looked for that one. So none of these are really clear right now as for what to do. Hmm. Let's see if we can find this, um... Nameless Ruin. I know we've already looked, but... Let's also see if we see, uh, that hurling dude out here anywhere. Is that him? Ah, you again. Anything to report? You wanted to know about my gift. I had a vision. An angel by the name of Lario was killed by a creature uh, resembling Descari. Before he died, Lario bequeathed his sword to whoever could lift it. <coughs> the angel Lario, the name is familiar to me, of course. During the First Crusade, several war warriors from heaven fought shoulder to shoulder with the Crusaders, introduced, including some of their most illustrious heroes. It has always been a regret of mine that I never had the chance to meet one of them. By the time I was born, most of the angels had left the ranks of the Crusaders. <coughs> Iomedes' faithful servants at the time were told that the warriors of heaven were departing on a special mission that, that would weaken the forces of evil. That was a long time ago, and since then, none of the angels have returned. I have no doubt that their mission continues to this day, but I digress. Everyone believed that Lariel left along with the rest, but you have revealed the sorrowful truth to me, that our hero perished, leaving his gift to await the arrival of one worthy of it. Sad, sad t tidings. Tidings. Um, let's go with, uh, did you talk to Erebeth? That little upstart went behind my back and declared herself warden of the city. She refused to step aside. I should have arrested her and all the rabble she's drawn about her, but now, but now is not the time for that. I let her play warden all she likes. Once we've cleared the demons out of the city, I'll make sure she's hauled in front of a tribunal for this little stunt. Um, how can you help us when we attack the Great Garrison? What do you mean, how can I help? Why all these questions? You're not doubting my abilities, are you? We are inquisitors. We will provide tactical support with cold steel or magic as we see fit. Okay. Yep. Okay, I guess can't do anything there yet. Let's, uh, I guess leave. Hold on. Loot.
horse. Let's leave. See, there's shit highlighted here, but... See what it says when I hover above it. Um, the best in in Canaveras. Yeah, I know what the place is, but no. I just want to know what you got highlighted. It's kind of only showing me. I guess then this is where we have something to... We don't have anything to do anywhere else. There's a question mark. Um... Terabade Residence... Failed Ritual Site. Yeah, let's just go to some of these, uh... Question marks, I guess. It takes seven hours to get there. Prepare to fight. Have some fun. Kill him. I'll cut you wide open. Cool. All right. Um, let's go ahead and leave. Leave. Let's check out uh, this question mark. Gotta fight. Time for debates. All right, kill him. Spirits demand your blood. Surrender or else. Dope. Let's check them. What do you got? All right, let's leave. Well, all right. Area exit. Make our way here. Except. Alright, let's try to get, grab this. Uh, oh, all characters are fatigued. Would you like to begin resting? Except, yeah, sure. Yep, begin resting. Continue. Alright, let's continue here. Uh, yeah, enter. Alright. So, I guess let's just check out what the hell this place is. Let's do a save. Got an enemy right here. You've crossed the Be wrong careful, mile. everyone. Kill him. Ah shit, I did not realize there was more over here. Alright, so you are shooting into uh, combat. We need to change that. You now get... Take this long spear. Uh, let's check this loot. Grab those mushrooms. Let's go into the residence.
Nothing in here. Oh, there's a trap. I hope you appreciate this. Let's kill him. You won't stop us. Endure this. Damn. I will make every strike count. Why the hell are they not dying? Oops. What's on your mind? I wonder. Shake their bodies. Uh, cloak? Let's grab that. Nothing else in here? For real? What do oh, we have here? here's something. Grab that book. Grab that gold. Airbus letter. Let's grab that. <clears throat> Guess that's it. <clears throat> Follow my steps. All right. Nothing else around here. Let's go ahead and do another save. See what's out this way. Let's check the loot. Grab that gold coin. Damn. What about out this way? Did we go out here? So, uh, okay, I guess nothing. And that's where we came from. What about out this way? It's just another exit. Okay. This place didn't have much to offer. Let's head out. Alright. Well... Guess we're supposed to be here. This is the only thing highlighted, so there's something we're supposed to do here. Prepare to fight. Trouble? No, they did. Let's see, what do you have? All right, kill the Attack. big bastard. Damn. Alright, let's go. Leave. Let's get on back to Defender's Heart. Prepare to fight. Oh, got these big ass bugs. Kill it. Aim carefully. Survive me. Alright. Let's go. Continue on. Damn. Got a long ways to go. We done battled twice. evade if we can. Prepare to fight. Refuse to accept their statement. All right, you son of a bitch, where you at? Endure this. Attack. Dope. All right, let's go back. Defender's heart. All right, 
Let's figure out what the hell we're supposed to be doing here. I mean, it's got all this shit. Sometimes they're... Um... Saving Iamade, the bringer of light, has turned against the followers of Desna, the goddess of luck, travels, and, dream and dreams. Sometimes a fateful choice must be made when you least expect, expect it. Find Aranka. suspicious places in the city I should pay attention to there are a couple spots I wanted to check out but I didn't have time if there really is a den of cultists there it would be good if you could swoop in there and bust some heads you don't even need a search warrant um first one is the silk and thread it's a funny little tailor shop that doesn't have take any orders and never uh, buys any fabric, but they always seem oh so busy. They're busy with something in there, all right. But sewing it ain't. But sewing it ain't. Um, <clears throat> second one is the alchemy shop, to, uh, Topaz Solution, and they trade in everything, not just healing potions. Judging by <clears throat> by the ingredients, they've been buying on the black market. There's something fishy about the alchemist rituals going down in that place. Okay. Dope. So we've got a couple of places that should be marked on that big ass map now for something. It's just kind of. Um. Let's see. Nothing new here. Nope. I have to go. Let's check out those spots she mentioned, I guess. Well, actually, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and rest real quick. Alright. Now let's go outside. places guess that place and this place all right let's check out this place evade if we can ah, evade if we can I mean we're right here Center. Let's check this place out. Can't hide from me. What is that? A trap? You can trust me. I'm 
helpful, am I not? Yes. Now let's check out this loot. Oh, we already did. That's right. Oop, got some me. enemies. Kill the fucker. Oof. Kill the bastard. Go ahead, do a save. Let's check out this loot. Grab that. Check out this loot. Grab that. Grab that map. Nothing out here. Let's check the bodies. Did we check the bodies? Alright. Let's go check out this way. Silk in the thread. Oh. There's another trap. Hold up. Kill him. Oh, that's a stranger. Uh, talk to the stranger, I guess. The absence of an answer is an answer to... Oh, it's that one dude that keeps doing that. Okay. Let's go in here. Did we step on their toes as well? Kill them! Make every strike count. I'll remove this obstacle. <laughs> Someone else in there. Kill him too. My friends. Let's check out the loot. Ooh, what is this? Demonic heart. Let's grab that. Use it to cook while. Let's check his body. Ooh, what is this? Grab that. Grab that. Let's grab that. Let's throw that, uh... Where the hell did that go? This? Can I put this on? No. You can, though. <clears throat> it's a light armor, actually, so let me see. You throw that on. There you go. Check these bodies. Nothing great. Let's check this loot over here. <clears throat> Mutated fish. Mix of spices. Nothing. Oh. Well, that's just outside. Okay. It's in here. Nothing. Nothing. There really ain't nothing else in here. Nope. Okay. Go back outside. Let us be careful. <clears throat> See. Let's check out this area. Just an exit. Yeah, it looks like there ain't gonna be really anything. Check out this little corner. Oh, yeah, we already searched over here. I guess that's it. I guess, uh... Shit. I guess let's go check that other place. Yeah, where was it? Over here? Uh, evade. Evade. Enter. Alright. Let's 
check out this place. We'll go ahead and do a save. Let's grab that. Let's grab that scroll. Watch each other. It's a little over the top. Grab him. Oh shit, what the hell is this? Uh, go for that now. What up? Y'all need to get in here. Y'all stuck in that door. Now. Alright, now go for this bastard. Kill him. Oof. What the hell? Hold up, they're waking out a little bit. Alright. Damn. Damn. You're frequently... You frequently miss the enemy Cambion Alchemist. There are many spells and abilities that your armor won't protect you against to work. To work, they need to just touch the target. This is the touch attack. It ignores armor and shields. A creature's touch AC is usually lower than their full AC as it doesn't include the bonuses from the armor. Natural armor and shields. Natural armor and shields. Um, touch attacks can be made both in melee and f uh, from a distance. Ray. In most cases, the larger a creature is, the bigger the difference between its full AC and touch AC. To increase your combat efficiency, try using this. Okay. Fish on a stick. Let's grab that recipe. Um, let's see what the hell this stuff is. Purifying solution. Elemental essence. Let's see what. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing else? Nothing else in here. Oh, we got another room to check over here. Let's go over here. No time for debates. Uh-oh. Got another one of these fucking... Go for their hearts. <laughs> A mimic. Tries to look like a chest, but it actually a monster. Colorful feather. All right. Do we check this one? Incense. Area exit. Is that all this place is? Alright. Well. I think. Uh, I think we're going to have to call it here for this one. We're going to have to figure out what the hell to do in the next one. Because it's not. Fully clear at the moment. Like the. Uh, like our main place is highlighted. But. I, c I don't know. We're just going to have to search around and. Uh figure out what the hell to do in the next one but um yeah that's gonna be it for this one if you like the video hit the like button if you're new around here definitely subscribe send some video game recommendations down in the comment section and i will see you in the next one peace